Welcome to Colorado, over the counter. We have about five days to kill after New Mexico and before we head to Utah. So we're either just gonna sit around and kinda catch up on work or buy an over the counter tag and bust butt for a couple days. So we're out here. We got some intel from our uh, good buddy, Mike. And uh, here we are. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun couple days of it. Like I said, in uh, Purdue, Mexico, and every time I go elk hunting, I'm very much a novice. So it'll be fun getting out here and kind of seeing if we can't get on one by ourselves. I think we just sit here for a minute and just see if we hear anything. Hey guys, so we made it to uh, where we wanted to go. There was this meadow out here. Um, it's it's like big timber everywhere, so this is like the first first opening of any sorts we found. But a decent amount of elk sign and a couple robs. And but I think we're just gonna hang tight. We've heard zero bugles, which is kind of expected on the hunt that we're on. But uh, I don't know, hang tight, and we might even sit here all day and just kind of listen and if we hear a bugle then you know we obviously know we're in a decent spot but a good chance this afternoon maybe something will feed out in here so i just don't really see a point bombing around everywhere especially when we got to go back to the truck tonight It's just after two o'clock. We've been sitting on this meadow since 8.30, something like that. No bugles, no nothing. We took a little nap, ate a mountain house, but we're supposed to get some rain at like 6 p.m. So I kind of want to be back to the truck by then to either get out of here, because we had a pretty good drive in, or uh, set up camp, one or the other. Day two, Colorado. It's been raining all morning and it's snowing now. It's 36 degrees and getting colder. Um, we're moving to a different different unit. Um, maybe just greener pastures. I didn't like that. We saw tons of people and we actually ran into a guy that said it's been just getting hammered um, all week. So going somewhere else driving, taking the bad weather to uh, just kind of relocate, but the roads are actually pretty good. So hopefully we make it. Okay guys, we are uh, day three, Colorado. Went to a completely new unit. Um, we drove around a lot yesterday, talked to some guys and just never found anything worth going into. But today we got some intel from one of our buddies and uh, we're gonna dive in here, I think, for I think for at least one night, potentially two nights. So I think we're gonna bring camp. 
on our back and hike in. It's uh, just been daylight for maybe 15 minutes. So it'll be good, we'll be able to hike in in the light and maybe we'll hear something in the next couple days. Semi unconventional, but I feel like I don't really want to take this pack off, so I'm just using the load shell for my tent and sleeping bag, but should be fine. working our way in. It's so quiet. There's this is zero wind and it's like 30 degrees so every little step is just cracking through the whole bottom. So I'm just going really slow. <clears throat> Quite a few tracks though which is really good. There's at least some around. Well, this would have been good if it was a little warmer out. A little wallow. One was for sure too, but, but the other two, I don't know. Let's keep on working our way. That's what you want, you want to get slobber in the reed. bugles and nothing close but uh we're kind of like late you know we had a hike in this morning so it's nine o'clock they're probably all there's a bunch of big timber behind us so i had to guess they're going to come out of this big timber and kind of work these ridges out and it's more you know that clear cut or not the clear cut that burn and everything so i think we're going to chill here for quite a while we also have to find a place to set up camp tonight. So hopefully we don't have to set up camp. Hopefully we kill one before then. But there's tons of sign. Like way more sign than the places we've already been hunting. So I like it. guy that probably is the worst bugle I have ever heard before. He's like working his way. And there's another bugle down here, but I wasn't sure if it was a tube or not because it actually sounded decent. But I just don't want to go anywhere because even if this was a bull down here, these guys are moving fast down, downward. Maybe they'll like kick it up to us or something. <laughs> right. So it is uh, two o'clock. We have 
we ran into four guys, super cool guys. And then one or two other guys went right below us here. So it's pretty, it's pretty busy. Um, I haven't heard a, a confirmed elk. So I think we're gonna go exploring a little bit. Those guys said they're heading out. So we're gonna head down here. Maybe see what's up, see if there's a better, maybe like a meadow or something we could sit on for this afternoon. The ravens do not like that we're here. I think we'll sit here, we can see into the saddle, this burn. And uh, our wind's ripping up, but when thermal starts switching, we might have to Hopefully we hear something, we can start zigzagging around. But you can see a decent amount, a little glass, sit, take a nap, drink some water. It's 5.30 and not a lot of heck. <laughs> Thermals are starting to switch down though, so I think I kind of want to go back up a little bit. Hopefully, hear something here this afternoon. Just get a better idea from the morning. We just saw one. Well, mountain houses are ripping. I couldn't wait, so I had granola. And uh, probably got 15 minutes of light left or so. Just listening. I mean, we're right in hunting territory pretty much, but we're right next to this little creek, and I think our thermals will kind of get down to this creek and not really blow down the mountain or anything but hopefully we hear something in the morning that's like we just gotta they gotta be talking so we'll see we're gonna eat food go to bed early we've been running on like low sleep so I'm kind of pumped to get in bed early and that will be good the final morning of our Colorado over-the-counter hunt we just stayed the night out here last night, got super cold, frost everywhere this morning. We hear some distant bugles right now, and I think we're just gonna kinda go towards them. And then we'll do like a big loop and kinda head back to the truck. We gotta be ripping out of here by noon. So, my hands are freezing. But we're gonna get to walking so we warm up a little bit. I just want to go on this rim, kind of similar to what we did yesterday, and then we're going to pale off. Need some cows. Well, that concludes our time in Colorado. Um, didn't really have high expectations coming into this considering over the counter tag, um, but 
we saw nine people in two days here at this last spot, which is absolutely unbelievable. We did see a spike, we did see an elk, which is great. Um, but yeah, it just goes to show that it's just so tough hunting some public areas these days and talking to guys that have been doing it forever. I mean, it's like every year it's been getting worse and worse and worse and worse and such a double-edged sword. I mean, we see the same thing with whitetails. You know, Kansas was a perfect example. You know, now public land in Kansas is just so much harder than it was even just three, four, five years ago. So it's a fun time though. Learn more, learn more every time I get out elk hunting. Like I said, I'm still very much a newbie elk hunter. This is my only fourth elk hunt. But I think our luck is about to change as we are heading west uh, to go on another elk hunt. <laughs> Uh, but uh, really our time in Colorado was filler between New Mexico and what we got next. So fun times, a little bit of a grind, a little bit of frustrations, but we're out. We're out. If you're not going to kill them on the couch. So we run on the couch. We, we try. But here we are. We'll see you guys in the next one.